What is going on guys, Vuxer here. In today's video, we will be comparing the Mercedes-Benz GLE 63 to the BMW X5M. These are both good performance SUVs for the price, so let's compare them. Starting off, we're going to go over the detail in the Mercedes-Benz GLE 63. Starting off right away, we have a 3D grill. It is full 3D, notch to notch. As you see, we also have a radiator behind the grill. We have the big Stuttgart logo in the middle of the grille, which also has some reflectance to it, indicating that this may be a sensor in the middle of the Stuttgart logo. Coming up to the windshield, we have more attention to detail. We have K Sadies and another Stuttgart logo. Very nice. Now let's go over the lighting. Here's the lighting for the Mercedes-Benz GLE 63. This car has a cool effect with the DRLs once you turn a turn signal and once you turn them off. As you see, here's the turn signals in the front. Once you turn them off, it actually fades back in, which is very cool. Here's the front headlights. As you see, we have the low beam and we have the high beam lights indicated right there. Since it says Greenville and there's not a proper system for high beams yet, both beams are lit. You have this side reflector light, which is also neon. Very nice. Now let's move on to the rear. Here are the turn signals for the Mercedes-Benz GLE, full neon, as you can see. Those also double as a brake light. As you see, here's the brakes. Very nice. Coming back to the front of the vehicle, we have more 3D grills with more sensors, and you have more of the radiator back there. As you see, this is the only part that's 2D about this front, but then you have more detail on the sides, as you can see. 3D vents and such, more sensors indicated. You have the cutouts, just like the real GLE. Very elegant. Let's check out the wheels. As you see, these are the night pack wheels that you can get, but you can always option it with different wheels. These are very nice. They suit the blacked out theme of this GLE, other than the blue being the paint color. For the mirrors, we have carbon fiber mirrors on both sides, along with mirror turn signals. On the roof part, we have a moon roof. Back here, we have some cutouts for some airflow. We have exhaust, which is actually detailed with the pipe inside, along with the muffler being detailed below. And yeah, the overall look is very nice. It's a gloss black. When we come to the rear, here are the tail lights. The overall decal quality looks very nice. Um, you can see the cutouts very well and the indicators of where each lighting part is. We have this chrome bar that goes across signature plate and another 3d Stuttgart logo here's the overall stance of the GLE 63 let's move on to the x5m here's the BMW x5m there are a few things that the GLE does better and I will point that out now starting right away we have a 3d grill on the BMW x5m but there doesn't seem to be any detail behind this 3d grill as you see there's no form of radiator or any form of a engine part behind these grills, which really takes away from the detail that this X5M has. One thing that I also noticed right away, this still has 2D logos. So the GLE mainly has 3D logos on it, but this one has a 2D decal that's just on the hood. Alrighty, so for the lighting on the BMW X5M, we have these two beams. In the middle, we have DRLs. And we also have attention to detail in the decal itself for the headlights. For the rear of the vehicle, we have a full neon look. As you see, the brakes are a full neon look. Very nice. Here are the turn signals. This car also includes mirror turn signals. So when you look at the headlight detail, you can see that it includes all of the features of BMW headlights. This appears to be the BMW laser headlights. If we come down here, you can see there's a modeled sensor, but other than that, it's just black. So if I zoom in, it just looks like my screen went black. These wheels seem to be a little bit bigger than the GLE wheels, and this also features blue brake calipers instead of the yellow on the GLE. There's some clipping here. Very unfortunate. This vehicle also features a moonroof, which seems to be smaller than the GLE one. Here's the overall stance of the X5M. Very nice. Coming back to the rear, we have detailed exhaust once again. So this doesn't lose any points right here. Very nice, you can see where it flows into. 
we do not have a detailed muffler on this one though actually yeah we do it's just oddly shaped this one also has a rear diffuser these tail lights seem to be 3d ish so that's a plus for this vehicle now we're going to compare these two vehicles based on handling zero to 60 comfort price sound and detail starting off with the handling both cars handle very nice some cars struggle in some areas while the other one does very well for the x5m i'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 due to its car like handling and its maneuverability you can really maneuver this car around like it's a m5 but it's a suv which is really insane for the GLE, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Sometimes this car just loses power when you are making some turns, and if you take a turn too fast and you try to correct it, you have a chance of overcorrecting. Other than that, this still handles very, very nice. For the BMW X5M, it completes a 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, and it really shows. It accelerates to 60 very, very fast compared to the GLE, and overall, it just feels like a car, like I said before. The Mercedes GLE, on the other hand, does the 0-60 to 60 in 3.3 seconds, which isn't slow. It's still very fast for an SUV, but it's just not as fast as the BMW X5M. As far as comfort goes, the Mercedes-Benz GLE seems to have a softer suspension, and it's not so jerky compared to the X5M. For the comfort category, I'm going to give the GLE a 9 out of 10. Very nice. For the BMW X5M, on the other hand, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 due to it being very jerky. And when you try to correct yourself, it's a bit jerky and it just has a lot of body roll. For the sound, this is opinion based, but I'm going to give this one to the Mercedes Benz GLE 63. If you want a car that you want to drive on the daily while still being fast, the GLE sound is not annoying at all. When you put it in drive, it's just very chill. When you come over to the BMW X5M, this car tends to still be loud in drive mode, but it's still nice to drive when you want to put it in sport. And that's where this car shows out. For overall detail, I'm going to give the Mercedes-Benz GLE a 9 out of 10 due to there being 3D grills and just 3D trim all over the car. And also that cool thing with the headlights. For the BMW X5M, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 due to it lacking detail in categories that the GLE had a bunch of detail in. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. After this, I will place the stats on the screen and the video will end shortly.